I have never seen the US dollar index this high all of the years that I've been on YouTube at 99.27. This is and that's because people are pouring into the dollar as a safe haven because of what's going on and having that much confidence in the dollar today. Not only is the US dollar high, but so is gold hitting 2000 earlier today. It's at 1991. Currently, silver was also up past 26. It is down a little bit. But ladies and gentlemen, this is crazy. Hold on to your precious metals. 2022 is going to be interesting. What's going on, Rapid Nation? Welcome to another video around the world and the Iraqi dinar updates right now at this moment. Thank you for clicking on Rapid Updates. More news, less BS focusing on what really matters, giving you back to what, what's more important to you. Focusing on life and fulfillment, creating your own economy, becoming your own CEO. Let's get wrapped. Let's start off with crypto markets. Right now, Coinbase blacklists over 25,000 crypto addresses tied to Russian individuals and entities. Over here on the left-hand side, global commodities skyrocket. Ounce of gold nears 2K. Musk says there's a need to increase oil and gas output. He did come out on, on social media and said, yo, I know this is against what I'm doing for this world, but Biden, you really need to pump more oil. Visa and MasterCard suspends operations in Russia as part of sanctions over Ukraine. IMF warns about what's happening over in Europe. Severe impact on global economy. Duh. Binance Coinbase explain why cryptocurrency won't help Russia evade sanctions. This gentleman here, Wharton Professor, urges the Fed to bite the bullet and defend the U.S. dollar. Warns about Bitcoin taking over. Bitcoin is down right now. The crypto market has been moving up and down. And currently it's in a bearish market. But there is a lot of confidence happening. I mean, right now it is funding Ukraine in the war effort. Speaking of Ukraine, Ukraine uses donated crypto to pay for military supplies government says 50 million in crypto raised in a week next i'm going to get to the iraqi update here in a second but china agricultural minister says winter wheat conditions could be the worst in history over the summer i came across an article about china somebody brought up and sounded the alert that china was stockpiling on natural resources and food supply you might have seen that video when i published it but it's coming full circle now. And still, the weak conditions could be the worst in history for China. Next, are you worried about your retirement? Are you looking at the stock market? The Dow dropped over 700 points today. U.S. retirement funds heavy on stocks. Brace for losses. Diversify, right? Next, let's talk about Russian ruble sinks in offshore trade as bids evaporate. London, Russia's ruble fell sharply thin trading on Monday to a fresh record low with local markets closing for trading until at least Wednesday. Ruble has lost nearly 50% against the greenback since the start of the year. No doubt about it. Next, uh, well, remember when the Fed were saying, we're not really worried about the inflation. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. Well, hello, um, Russia-Ukraine war puts Fed further behind inflation curve, former insider warns. Former Kansas City Fed President Thomas Honig warns world in economic war. Going to face some major challenges. Honig argued the higher prices for basic resources, including metals and food, should be expected and warned that rough months are ahead let's get to iraq dinar debacle pits iraq's finance minister against satyrs iraq's minister is caught in a worsening confrontation with the satyrs movement the clash erupted after shiite cleric and politicians al Sater took to twitter on february 17th this article is march 5th to demand that top finance officials be summoned by the parliament over currency related issues importantly Sater al Sater's call for a halt to the smuggling of hard currency may also be targeted at Iran. Next, here we go. Parliamentary agreement to raise the price of barrel of oil in the 2022 budget. We probably all saw this coming. Representatives of the state of law 
said in an interview, the rise in selling price of oil in the global market prompts us to raise the selling price of oil in the draft budget law of 2022. It is not possible to maintain the old price, which is close to a half, the price that is sold. The World Health Organization chooses Iraq and four other countries to implement a special program because of the CK. Let's skip that. Al Rafidin launches housing loans amounting to 150 million dinars. The bank's going to grant 50 million dinars to citizens employee whose salary is with the bank to restore, rehabilitate, build, and or buy residential houses at an interest rate of 5% and repayment period of 10 years. They have been struggling a little bit with the housing market. Obviously, they're just behind, but they definitely have this mechanism in place to move forward now that they have Kuwait paid off. Al Kazimi, this is one of his important projects that he definitely wants to move on. Big news, the first time in history of the currency auction, the central banks sells less than a million dollars in cash. My friend in Baghdad showed me in a telegram that the CBI was making anywhere between 200 to 250 million from the currency auction. Now this is less than a million dollars in cash, but it's only today, so let's not get too excited. Central banks Bank of Iraq usually sells at least 12 million in currency auctions on a daily basis. Iraq exports more than 7 million barrels of oil to America in a month, and Iraq maintains its position even though the world's gold reserves are declining right now, being sold off. However, Iraq is 39th out of 100, and they have about 96.4 tons of gold in their reserves. Pretty quiet for Iraqi news today, but thank you for being on this video. Make sure you subscribe and like, and by all means, stay rapid.